What's up, Flight Simmers? Good afternoon, it is Pilot83 here. We're going to do yet another tutorial in the PMDG 737 to answer a question that I get a lot, and that is, how do I fix a discontinuity in the flight plan, and what is it? A discontinuity in the flight plan is basically your flight plan asking you if you want to continue to the next waypoint. You'll quite often see these after a SID or before a star in your flight route. You will even see them in your flight plan in different scenarios, sometimes like before an airway or after an, air an airway, it's going to ask you what you want to do next. And a big reason for this is, is because in real life, ATC would be giving you vectors or a heading to hold or that they want you to go to before going to that next waypoint. Obviously in the sim, a lot of us are not using VAT sim or things like that and we want just a easy way to get to the next waypoint and finish our flight. So I'm going to show you all the most easiest way to fix this and then I'll go over something else that's a little neat that you can do. If y'all want a more realistic way of doing this, we can go over that in another video as well. Y'all just let me know. I'm going to go ahead and get this plane started up with the power and then we will get right to it. Let me go ahead and get us set up real fast. So if you ever see this message, nav data out of date, just clear that out. So I'll make us a quick little flight plan. And this I know will give us a discontinuity before our star. Okay, we've now made a flight plan from Pensacola to Tampa. This is our last waypoint, Heaven, that is before our star, which is Maddie. We got the route discontinuity, which is the FLC asking us if we want to continue from this waypoint into this star. Like I said, in real life, a lot of times you're going to get a vector or heading from ATC on what they want you to do before this. But in the sim, like I said, I know a lot of us are not trying to do that, so there's easy ways to go about this. So real fast, let me go ahead and go up here so I can actually show you what we're actually looking at. Change our range. Then move your move this into step mode, just like that. Now when I click step and go through these waypoints, we see right here the waypoint heaven where it is broken off from rest of the flight plan from the star. So the easiest way to fix this is just to click on Maddie which is below the discontinuity and move it into or move it one step above the discontinuity where it says then. This is going to pop up like this connecting the two and you're going to click execute these are now connected. So it takes me out here, takes me right down here to my east, and then it's gonna come back around and come in to land. So that's the easiest way to fix that. But keep in mind though, sometimes in the sim when you do it like this, this might actually sometimes mess you up on the star. It might put you in a really short approach. It might put you in just a real awkward position where you, you might have to change your heading or something. So, always take a good look at what's going on and plan ahead. So something I do sometimes in those situations, I like to look at my flight plan and sim group before, so um, I'm usually pretty good at not having that situation, but you can go up here to STA, which is short for station. So when you do that there, you're gonna see these pop up, and these, think of these kinda like uh, a bunch of waypoints. So sometimes when I notice that I am in a situation and I need to give myself some more time or if I'm trying to shorten because sometimes it is too long like this this here I've done this flight I know that this leg is way out here and there's no need for me to do it. So this is just an example this actually would not be correct for this flight plan. So what I could do is I could look at this and say okay I want to come out here. 
So I could go, so say OEM in. And so we want to do that after heaven. So we'll type it OEM in. And there's a much more in-depth way of doing this when you're doing fixes and stuff, which if y'all like, I could do a video on that as well. But this is me keeping it real easy for y'all at the moment. So I could put OEM in where Maddie is. Okay, so that's going out there. Go to next page. Okay, and I also have a vector here, which is where they would want a heading. So I could say, say I want to jump all that. So I could click fatty. Go back. Move that into the discontinuity like that execute now you see how my flight plan is now changed where I'm now shorten that before I come in to this approach this one here actually it's a pretty good fix for this like so I'll just make this as I go I know this airport is direct down so this is going to come down here I wish I could zoom in more and show y'all but this would actually work so that's another way of doing it and you can even come down here you know so if you're not want to do a heading or if you're trying to give yourself some more time if you're say you don't want to do a hold pattern or if you're just trying to have a better approach in because of some situation these are little quick things you can do to help you achieve that now I will go ahead and make a, a video of doing fixes and just an easier way well I won't say easier way but a better way of doing this which would be more true to real life but uh, I hope this video is helpful for y'all fix those continuities I know like I said a lot of y'all ask that question a lot what is it how do you fix it but just simple little things like that guys as always i am pilot 83 thank you guys for the continued support of the channel if you have any questions feel free to let me know i'm always happily uh, happy to help y'all until next time guys happy flying out there fly safe if you made it this far thank you so much if you like this video and you feel like i earned your subscription please hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss out until next time guys see you in the air